And now, just how high could it go? That's the question that many drivers are asking as they fill up their tanks. Gas prices are now the highest they've been in 14 years, averaging 373 in Travis County and then more than four bucks a gallon nationwide. KXAN's Tom Miller talked with the University of Texas energy expert about the immediate future. Gas prices just keep going up. Where do you potentially see the ceiling for these prices? So that's a great question. I think a lot of it depends on if we go into a full oil embargo on Russia itself, because Russia supplies a significant amount of um, oil to the, to the world markets. And if those markets get tighter than they already are, then that will result in a higher oil price, which will result in a higher gasoline price. Are we talking about a matter of 10, 20, 30 cents more, or could we be looking at dollars more in terms of what we're paying? I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if we're well over $4 by the time this is done, $4 per gallon. So, and potentially even up into 450, which would be higher than I think we've seen maybe ever. Is Texas better situated than most states because of all the oil that we produce? No, I think Texas is better situated than, than most states. Prices are typically lower here than they are in other locations. We produce a lot of oil. We also refine a lot of oil. So those refined petroleum products, things like gasoline and diesel, don't have to travel as far um, after they've left our refineries. And so in general, we are, you know, we generally do see lower prices and probably will this round too. What needs to happen in order for oil and gas prices to actually start going back down? We either need to consume less oil, we need to be more efficient in the way that we, you know, use gasoline and petroleum products, or there needs to be an increase in oil production on the global market. So that could be either domestic production here in the U.S., other countries, uh, or from, from other countries, or if the, you know, Russia-Ukraine um, you know, war would calm down such that there wouldn't be as big a fear that Russian oil would no longer be on the global market. Joshua Rhodes with the University of Texas, thank you so much for your time. Thanks for having me.